Kitakubu. Hey everyone, Kita Sean here, so welcome back to another episode of Kita News where we talk about everything otaku. We got Hollow Live news, anime, video games, so let's get right to it. Cover Corp released a new promotional anime trailer for the new Hollow Live alternative metaverse project, as well as new details on the Hollow Earth game project during the Hollow Earth TV special live stream last week. Hollow Earth will be set in a world of Hollow Live Alternative, and it will be an experience where the VTubers and fans can explore the new virtual world. A new visual drawn by Sakamoto Masaru was also revealed for Hollow Earth and a female avatar design. Godzilla Singularity Point anime gets a spin-off novel and it will release July 26. Obey Me TV anime gets a second season and it will air July 2022. The Legendary Hero is Dead TV anime has confirmed that it will air Spring 2023. Kind of a bummer, I was hoping that it would release this fall because it's actually an anime that I'm really looking forward to, but hey, gotta wait another year. Kadokoa has released a new trailer for the fourth season of Overlord and it revealed that the anime will air July 5th. Super excited for this, huge Overlord fan, so yeah, cannot wait. Kadokoa also released a short trailer for the upcoming anime Isekai Miyakyu Dehadem. The anime is set to air July 6th and Miyake Kenta will play Alan. McDonald's Japan announced they will release six exclusive menu items on June 22nd. They will be collaborating with Gundam Star Asnable. Basically, it's a celebrity collab menu that we see a lot here in America. The menu items are red garlic teriyaki burger, new type white triple cheeseburger, spicy double cheeseburger, McFizz drink, and a double sausage muffin. The official website for the upcoming Detective Conan Han Niwa Hanada-san will air October 2022. Is it wrong to pick up growth in a Dungeon Season 4 released a new trailer revealing additional cast members. Hukuzumi Saya will play Mari, Ban Taito will play Ludwig Lilix, and Uchino Takaki will play Dormo Bolster. Upcoming TV anime Cool Doji Danshi released a trailer and a visual featuring Ichihara Hayate. Shimajunta announced on his Twitter account that his manga Murai no Koe will be getting a TV anime adaptation. Higuchi Akihiko's Edomai Elf, Otaku Elf, will be getting a TV anime adaptation. Cast members were also revealed. Ozaki Yuka will play Koito. Koshimizu Ami will play Elda. Sword Art Online revealed the first visual for the upcoming sequel film, Sword Art Online Progressive, and it will release in Japanese theaters September 10th. During Bushiro's summer 2022 TCG strategy presentation, we released four new trailers and additional information for the upcoming Card Fight Vanguard Will Plus Dress anime. The anime will air July 4th, the second season in winter 2022, and then the third season summer 2023. They also revealed that Card Fight Vanguard game titled Dear Days will release on the Switch and PC, which is kind of insane. Like, we kind of expected them to make a new Vanguard video game, but not for the PC, so that's really awesome. But unfortunately, it is not multiplayer, it is a single player game. The game will feature a female protagonist named Ichidoji Yuki, who will be played by Nishio Yuka. Upcoming Bastard anime revealed a new trailer and revealed that Koyama Mami will play the God of Destruction Anthrax. Kazutake Hada no Shiro Seiju no Kuro Bokushi Manga will be getting a TV anime. My Stepmom's Daughter is My Ex anime revealed that Okitsu Kazuki will play Irido Miniaki and Kayono Ai will play Irido Yuni, the parents. Production IG released a trailer and visual for Naita Satoko's Rakudai Majo. Capcom's Itsuno Hideaki revealed that Dragon's Dogoma 2 is currently in development. Very exciting, I was a huge fan of the first game. Mononoke will be getting a new anime film in 2023 and a stage play. That's also very exciting because I'm a huge Mononoke fan as well. If you have not watched that anime, go watch it. It's actually really, really good. Toho announced that a brand new Trigon Stampede anime is set to air in 2023. The anime will be produced by CGF Studio Orange, so most likely it's going to be one of those CG animes, kind of like uh, Beastars. I mean, CGF Studio Orange is actually the production studio that did Beastars, so uh, don't expect 2D drawings, unfortunately, but at the same time, it's still really cool to see a new Trigon Stampede anime. Kodansha announced in its 29th issue of Weekly Young Magazine that Yamakawa Naoki and Asaki Masahi might Home Hero will be getting a TV anime. Warner Brothers Japan revealed a visual for the upcoming 2023 anime record of Ragnarok 2, uh, season 2 basically, and it's gonna once again stream on Netflix. Hopefully the second season is way better than the first one. Everyone knows that the first season was just like a huge disappointment. The manga is so godly, but the, you know, the anime was just like, wow, what a waste of money, what a waste of my time kind of thing. So uh, hopefully it's better than the last one. So yeah, there you guys have it. That's all the news that we have for the week. Uh, I actually did miss out on Friday once again. Again, I was just like really busy with work. Uh, I might actually be changing the uh, release date schedules for Kita News. Uh, I'll announce that on a later date. But for now, 
um, that's basically what's probably going to happen. But yeah, uh, that's all the news that we have for today. What are you guys excited about? Um, I'm actually kind of excited for Vanguard. Uh, I was um, not really into the card game too much, but recently I've been getting into it. I actually got a couple decks now, and um, yeah, I'm excited to play the video game as well. And it's coming out really soon, so that's awesome. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, oh, man, I'm excited for that one. Uh, of course, Final Fantasy 7 25th anniversary news. I actually did not put it in this video because i did a reaction to that so if you guys want to check that out you guys can it's on the channel and we had some uh you know kiseki news as well and all that good stuff so yeah go check that out and uh if you guys have not yet subscribed to the channel it'd be really awesome if you guys do like the video comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next one laters